Brown. I'm Liz Brown Swanson, and you are watching RPV City Talk on the road. Welcome to the city's first official annual Harvest Festival at Ken Dida Civic Center. You can see around me all the goblins running around. It's Halloween time, and we are going to have a spooktacular show. Welcome, everyone. It's fantastic to be out here uh, once again, um, getting out and uh, getting the city back together. Uh, after we came out of COVID, so uh, on the heels of uh, 4th of July celebration, whale of a day, and now we're able to do the Harvest Festival. This is just fantastic that we can all get out here and uh, see the kids uh, do a little trick-or-treating in a very safe environment and get them all hopped up on sugar. What could be more fun for the uh, end of uh, uh, entering fall? Hi, I'm Ara Maranyan, Rancho Palos Verde City Manager, and I want to welcome you to the City Hall Civic Center, at the Ken Dida Civic Center. So I'm here on Saturday, October 22nd, and it is our first annual um, Harvest Festival. And it comes off the tails of last year where we had a, a hugely successful trunk or treat. So we decided to expand that program for this year and make it our second event of our 50th anniversary celebration. We've got the trunk or treat at one corner of the field. We've got live entertainment at another corner. We've got arts and crafts in another corner and we've got food and drinks. So it's, we've got, we've covered everybody. Imagine this is now officially Ken Dida Civic Center, Civic City Hall. Just back in September, you were here with the community to rename this. This is an incredibly special place. This is about community right here. It is absolutely about community. And yes, last month we were here to um, announce and unveil the Ken Dida Civic Center sign and name. And, and this is the true heart of the city. The Civic Center is the heart of the city. And to see all these people here congregating and taking advantage of this site and the, the openness and the views and to come together and, and participate as a community, get to meet your neighbors and your other fellow residents. It's, it's all about community and what a Civic Center is about. This Harvest Festival is just one of many events that the city is putting on during the year as we do the build up to our 50th anniversary, which is coming up next September. How about for you, city manager, during this monumental time? This must be special for you. You've been with the city for decades. Yes, I've been with the city for 25 years, and to be serving the community in this capacity at this time of the city's history, it's a, it's truly an honor and a privilege, and I'm I'm thrilled to be here and part of the celebration and the countdown. I'm very I'm looking forward to every month we're doing. Um, some special event to recognize the history and significance of the city as we count down the one year to September 7th, uh, 2023, which will mark our 50th anniversary. I'm now with the city's chief goblin, Emily Rodine, who is in charge of this event. How is it going? I mean, just look around us. It's going amazingly. We're jam-packed with people, but everyone has smiles on their faces and are having a great time. This is the city's first official Harvest Festival. What went into bringing this together? And there's a lot of work that's involved. There definitely is. Um, it does take more than just a month of planning. It's probably about two, three months of planning to get everything together, but we have an amazing array of vendors selling things, food trucks. Um, we have a kettle corn and a churro guy, um, and then some amazing inflatables around us. So it's a lot of just like reminders and staying on top of it and lots of checklists, um, but it all came together very nicely. I know last year you put this together, coming out of COVID especially, people want to be together. And you can see this is continuing, that we all want to be together as a community. Yeah, I think these outdoor events are just the highlight for people, and they're coming out here full-fledged. Um, any fun facts you can share from the Harvest Festival? I think I heard someone say that there's 146 million pumpkins sold every year at this time in the country. Anything you can, any fun facts coming from you today? Uh, I mean, we probably have about 15 of those pumpkins here, so we're not making much of a dent in it. Um, but, no, we just have a lot of great things going on, free face painting and glitter tattoo artists. So there's plenty of activities all around the whole space. Excellent, excellent. I know they've got a puppet show, there's going to be a kid parade, and what do you enjoy about this time of year? 
Um, I mean, I love Halloween time. It's probably my favorite holiday. So just all the decoration and planning that goes into it. My house is like full on decorated and then just doing it here too is just another benefit. And, you know, we even try to get our inflatables to fit the theme a little bit. So um, it's just a lot of fun. And it won't be long right now. We're feeling fall and pumpkins. And before you know it, it's going to be Jack Frost and a skating rink here. Yeah, the skating rink is coming back. The first opening day is um, December 16th. That's our opening night. It will coincide with the tree lighting and we'll be opening up at 5.30 p.m. that day. And then it'll run um, just that weekend and then we're taking a break and then kicking it off December 26th through January 8th. So lots of fun. All right, my name is Corey Linder. I'm the director of the Recreation and Parks Department for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. Um, we're here today at our uh, first annual Harvest Festival. Um, getting a good turnout, we're estimating right now, probably around 2,000 people and we're not even halfway through. Our band just started, we've got an 80s band, PT and the Cruisers, and uh, actually what's special about them is that uh, one of the uh, uh, band members is on our planning commission. So uh, he, he, he caught our concerts in the park and uh, he sought us out first. And uh, we're just like, all right, so let's, let's hear what you got. And um, gave a little interview and hey, he's here. I'm with RPV's Chief Pumpkin, the mayor. With that, I'll let you, uh, just congratulations on a great event for the city. This is a great event. Once again, you know, the city is able to come out and get together. This is a phenomenal time. Um, I'm uh, blown away by the number of kids and the costumes and how much uh, the community is having fun. Uh, you know, we came out of COVID uh, late last year and was able to have 4th of July, Whale of the Day, and now the Harvest Festival. Um, I just can't say how excited we are to see everybody out here. It's a, a great day, a little cool, a little overcast, so the kids aren't getting fried uh, as we enter the fall and the winter season. Um, so just a tremendous time. I want to thank the uh, city uh, recreation and park staff for putting together another phenomenal event. Uh, this is one of our monthly events leading up to the city's 50th anniversary next um, September. Um, and then next month in December, we will be doing the uh, uh, Skating by the Sea. So uh, once again, come out for that uh, and come out to all of our events uh, every month for the next year, uh, culminating in our 50th anniversary celebration down at our lovely Terranea Resort. Um, hi everybody, my name is uh, Jesse Villapando. I'm the Emergency Services Coordinator for the City of Rancho Palos Verdes. And today we're passing out um, the information on how to be prepared for an emergency. So, so as you can see behind me, um, we have one of our uh, vice chairs of our emergency preparedness committee, and he's spreading the information on what to do in an earthquake, what to do in a fire, what to do in a flood. So, great stuff. We're here having a good time and celebrating, but it's also a perfect opportunity just to remind all of us that we need to be prepared. Yes, that's true. Emergencies can happen at any time, so there's three things you need to be prepared. You have a plan, you build a kit, and you and you be informed. Is there a best resource that you'd recommend, our city website obviously, yes. that people can turn to to find out what do I need to do? Yes, rpvca.gov slash emergency. Get all the information you need to do, what to, how to be prepared for an emergency. It's great to be with the Deputy City Manager, Karina Banyales. You're very busy running the city, but also putting on this event as well. What do you think of how this is all turning out? 
We've had a huge success today. The Recreation and Parks Department has done a phenomenal job once again in hosting the very first inaugural event of the Harvest Festival. What differs this festival among all the other festivals is that not only do we have trunk or treaters, we have bounce houses, but we have an amazing puppet show. I mean, look at all those children just having a blast. I mean, this is what it's about. It's a second event out of a series of 50th anniversary events. And we have just so many great activities going on today. I mean, we went big this year. So we really are happy that the community is out here. We have people who are residents, who are not residents, just really enjoying themselves. Going forward, where we're standing now, it won't be long before we're gonna see a skating rink. This is gonna be home to the second annual Skating by the Sea. Again, another great activity to look forward to. Yep, absolutely. So we really do invite everyone to visit rpv50.com. It tells you all the various 50th anniversary events. Like I said, this is the second. The third one will be a, a walk and talk with RPV TV. That's your team. Uh, we definitely want you to participate. Then we have the lighting ceremony, the actual skating ring, and many more to come. It's so fun to be with the Alegria family. Councilman Alegria, thank you for being here. What do you think of this event right now going on? It's party time. Okay. <laughs> I know you guys came dressed up as soccer players. Just kidding, right? Yeah. What do you love about this event? What you can see going on right now? Um, well, I really like face paint, and the parade looks really fun. Right, parade's coming up for you. This is really special to have our community together. It, it's always special, Liz. Uh, this is wonderful. I know last year we had a really big turnout. Looks like we've sort of matched that, and perhaps even then some. So glad people are coming out and enjoying each other. I'm here with some members of REACH today. You're out having a spooktacular time. Yeah. What are you enjoying? Everything. You love being in the REACH program. Why, what do you enjoy about REACH? I don't know. The people, I guess. And you make a lot of friends. I'm going to go talk to your friend Christine. Uh, uh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, I enjoy uh, watching the kids. And I enjoy REACH because I get to go places and do fun stuff. I am the Recreation Specialist for REACH. It is a program that serves individuals with developmental disabilities. We do a lot of excursions, a lot of crafts, uh, physical activities. It's great. We have a lot of community integration for our participants, and we like to bring everyone together. So we look here, here you are at the Harvest Festival. Give us a play-by-play -play of what the REACH program put together today. All right. The REACH program today, we put together a nautical theme as we are an RPV. We wanted to celebrate. Um, we did a whale of a day, so we wanted to kind of go around the th uh, along with the theme of that as well. And are you having fun being a mermaid? I see you flip. Are you flipping your tail? I'm flipping. I sure am flipping my tail. I'm having a great time. Hi, John Crookshank oh, here, City Council member. Happy fall, y'all. We're out here today at the Ken Dida Civic hey, Center, December, we're and uh, we're going about to have the PT Cruisers uh, performing for us. And this is exciting, seeing all these families out here today and celebrating the fall. Um, I love this. This is terrific. This is such a great family event, and I got to bring my family. I dragged them here to the pumpkin patch. Just kidding. Um, what a special day. What do you think? This is the first official Harvest Festival, Alex. All I can say is, oh my gourd, is it a good time here? There's so many cute kids running around in costumes, family, snacks, food, games. It's a real scary time down here. And of course, my husband, Don, who happens to serve on the city's IMAC committee. You're not here in official business, but you're really proud to be part of the city. Really, the city's doing a great job, and I can tell you the citizens have come out and enjoying a great day. It's a great family event. We found one of the funnest families in RPV. We have Sean and his witchy wife. I said, did you turn him into a rooster? I did, yes. <laughs> I've lost a spell on him. That's <laughs> you put a spell on him, you've lost a crow about you. have a beautiful family. What do you think of this event? Oh, we love it. We, co we come every year. Okay, well, we got the King Pumpkin here. Are you having fun? Yeah. Well, we're going to light up at this candle booth, but also look at this beautiful pumpkin. Talk, tell us about your family and your booth. Oh, well, I am a single mother. I started my business because I got pregnant of my daughter and I did not want to take her to the babysitter for 10 hours. So I created a business for me. And candles is something that I know that people like. And I love the creative process of making them. And um, I, it's my full-time job. We love it. Love and, and I see you're right into the spirit of the Harvest Festival. You have a lot of pumpkin candles. Describe what makes these so special. So they are coconut wax, 
Um, I do make all the sculptures. The sculptures are made with paraffin, with a little bit of coconut wax as well. And I fragrance everything. Yes, and they're all one of a kind. So every one is different than the other. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing. And you are the Vitalized Company. Do you have a website? How do people find you? I don't know if you're local right here on the peninsula. Yeah, I'm actually here uh, by LAX. And it is the Vitalized Company and Instagram. You can find me there. And I do a lot of pop-up shops. Well, we're, and we're glad you popped into the Harvest Festival. Thank you so All much. right. Thank you, you so much. Say hi? say hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Oh. Well, I think I found the sweetest trunk put together by this Peninsula High School student and her family. Tell us a little bit about what you did here for the trunk. Um, so for our trunk this year, uh, we decided to take a sweet approach. So um, we have a cart here that's completely homemade and just a lot of candy decorations in the trunk. Why do you love to participate in this event? Oh, it's just it's great to see all the smiles on uh, children's faces and just giving out candy. It's like giving back to the community and spreading positivity. So you said this isn't the first time you decorated a trunk for the city? No, we've actually done it for, I think, three years now. So um, we did it last year and then before the pandemic. So it's always great to come back after the pandemic and do this. Of course. And of course, the great thing about your trunk is you've really made it interactive, not just coming for candy, but <laughs> game playing. Yeah, um, that's something we tried this year only. We didn't have anything interactive like last year. So yeah, I think it's a success. We might do it next year. Sweet. All right, we're having a witchy time here, and I have a feeling these ladies, if you don't behave, you're going to cast a spell on everyone here. Are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. How'd you hear about us? I know you're visiting from Westlake Village. Uh, my mom saw it online, and we, we, my mom comes here like twice a week. So what do, you, what do you think about this event? This is actually the first official Harvest Festival. It's really lovely, and they did such a wonderful job putting it together. You did a wonderful job pulling out your best witches outfits. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you have a witch that inspired you? Uh, I've been wanting to be a witch since I was a baby. So I've been a witch for like seven years in a row. So, so this is just a bunch of hocus pocus. <laughs> I'll let you fly away on your broom. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Well, we're going to have to say so long here from the Harvest Festival. It has been all treats, no tricks today. And I have one last thing to say. Happy fall, y'all. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. See you next time on RPV City Talk on the road.